we are currently working on the uh, writing of season two of uh, Rebound, and uh, we're also developing a new mini-series in co-production with uh, Sky Atlantic and Canal Plus, and in co-production also with a British uh, production company Warp, Warp Film. Uh, we are very interested in uh, moving in the international co-productions and this trend that is quite uh, uh, widening at the moment since a few months and years. Ça va, maman? Moi, j'étais à ton enterrement. Je t'ai vu dans ton cercueil. Je te fais peur. Moi, je me fais peur. Rebound was uh, adapted from a movie that was produced by Ewecourt, uh, Les Revenants, by Robin Campillo. And uh, when I arrived in uh, Ouécourt and we wanted to develop in the TV series, uh, we thought there was a brilliant concept in this. The good thing with the concept is that it's realistic and it's the genre and it's also a, a dimension of uh, soap with uh, stories between sisters, mothers, love, hate, uh, friendships. So we went to um, Canal Plus and uh, proposed them this concept and they really, really were ready to do that. But then it took a few few months and years to develop it. The ratings for Rebound were really, really good. Uh, it was 1.4 million uh, every week. So the, the good thing was that uh, the ratings were particularly stable and the same numbers every week. Uh, it's, in France, it's two episodes per week, so it lasted one month. And at the end of the eight episodes, it was the best rated TV series for Canal Plus. And we're all lucky also to have very good critics from the viewers and from the, the critics. Le petit garçon, aussi. Uh, before the shooting of Rebound, we uh, were in contact with uh, Fremantle, who really liked the project, and they introduced us to Paul Abbott. And uh, we are really, really happy and proud because we love the work of Paul Abbott. And on the script, uh, they took an option to do the remake. And um, they are now uh, working on selling this uh, remake in the UK and US. We chose first to uh, focus on uh, the ready-made and the international sales. And uh, as it's going on pretty well, we are now uh, discussing uh, uh, about the, the format rights and uh, many Producers and TV channels from various countries uh, showed an interest for, for the format rights. So uh, it's, uh, we're, we're very curious if we can uh, see uh, Russian, South American or other uh, part of the world uh, dead uh, coming back uh, like uh, our series. Contrairement à ce que les gens pensent, il ne nous valent aucun mal. C'est exactement la même façon de procéder. C'est forcément le même meurtrier qui a 7 ans. Just after the success of uh, Rebound in, uh, in France and in Canal Plus, we had many um, uh, new opportunities uh, and encounters with many uh, producers abroad, uh, which helped widen the, the television uh, network because OECO has a very strong international cinema network, but we haven't been much positioned in the TV international market. And we also have had a lot of uh, opportunities with um, networks abroad, uh, in the UK, but even in the US. And uh, we're, we're, we're trying to really benefit from this to create more ambitious projects. There has been recently a, a, an opening towards international uh, co-productions. I think it's uh, uh, European, uh, more than only French. Uh, we've seen the success of the uh, uh, North European, Swedish or Danish series. Uh, we've seen the UK opening to uh, broadcasting uh, European shows, uh, which was not the case before with BBC4, and then we had Channel 4 with, uh, with Rebound. Uh, so it's rather a European trend for me than uh, only a, a French one. And uh, I really think it's an opportunity to find new energy and ideas and uh, into fiction. Uh, it's also probably a consequence of the economic crisis that uh, all countries need uh, to find money where it is and uh, to work together. But uh, the projects that are developing at the moment, are, I think, are very encouraging. Personally, I think uh, co-productions can be uh, dangerous 
artistically if they are uh, created only for uh, market purposes. I mean, uh, it's, uh, it can be easy to design a series uh, to please the international market. The main goal of, for me of international co-production is to find an equilibrium between uh, satisfying the international market and being able to make a product that will sell widely, but also uh, taking into account the specificity of your national audience and, and trying to keep the, the heart of the artistic project, which can be diluted. Uh, with a number of uh, people intervening. For me it's very important to, to start with an artistic project and, and not to lose it and then try to make it international and try to have the most people coming in and not the other way around. I think Louis has put together a very impressive team of professionals. Co-production is not co-financing, it's finding the way to co-create and uh, with uh, our project, uh, the Pink Panthers, with uh, Sky Atlantic and Canal Plus, we have tried to uh, launch a co-development from the beginning, from the idea, and uh, it's quite challenging to uh, manage to make everybody agree, the channels, the producers and the writers, uh, to create together. And, and then, when the project is coherent and strong, it's not hard to manage to get international money coming in. Pink Panthers was originally an idea from the French writers who came to us uh, to do a feature movie and when we read it uh, we really adored it and said it has to be a miniseries, international prestigious miniseries. It's about uh, Diamond Hists uh, from ex-Yugoslavia who at the beginning of the 2000s uh, stole from many European capital cities, but even in Japan, and, and they were very famous for being very efficient, but uh, non-violent. Nobody was killed or hurt during their raids. And so the action took place in many countries, and um, we had characters, which was in the reality, a uh, French cop, uh, thief from uh, ex-Yugoslavia, and uh, English loss, uh, loss adjuster from insurance companies. So the, the fiction, was from reality and was interna is international. Um, so that's why we decided to go to an English uh, company and uh, broadcaster to try to write it together. It's written by uh, Jack Thorne, who wrote uh, many brilliant uh, British drama and we're really, uh, we're really honored to work with him and it's a pleasure to share this. And uh, with uh, Jérôme Pierrat, who's a very famous uh, French uh, crime uh, investigators and journalists. The question of the relationship with uh, Hollywood, I think, is different in every European country. In France, we want one of the countries to have uh, the, uh, the, the most uh, European series uh, in uh, uh, prime time, whereas uh, in other countries like UK, there is, it's uh, more on one channel than on every channel every evening. Um, I don't think the European co-productions or the international co-productions are uh, related to any uh, issue with, uh, with America because there are also, I think, uh, a new trends of uh, cooperation with uh, Hollywood. It's so uh, it's rather uh, new opportunities for collaborations, but uh, European, but it's also, it's not only European, it's also uh, people are searching towards uh, Israel, towards America. So. It's not specifically European, although it's easier with a, a legal framework to do it within Europe. We're also working on another project, which is a TV movie for Canal Plus, that we should uh, shoot uh, at the end of the year. Uh, it's in the collection of uh, political movies. Uh, about the recent history of France and it's set in the Pays Basque uh, during the mid-80s. At the moment, OECO has produced uh, two TV series and uh, next year we should have a more volume but we're really focused on uh, developing the TV production activity uh, knowing that uh, OECO already, already has the uh, feature distribution, uh, feature production and is also uh, uh, involved in, uh, has acquired cinemas in Paris in uh, exploitation. So we are trying to stay focused in uh, what we are building at the moment. But the, the, 
the ambition is uh, really to try to develop ambitious uh, international co-productions and always with this uh, with this desire to start from the artistic, from the artists, writers, directors, and, and to keep the coherency of their projects and then try to find ways to make it global. <laughs>